Yeah, I am now comprehending all languages. Hey. Nice. I'm ready. So, uh, let's see. Ma. Oh, by the way, here's here's an image of Ma. I don't trust all the skulls. I love that she's an eye patch. That kind of lady. The she's sleep. been through some shit. Yeah. She's. She still has a smile she, on her face. She used though. to be a pirate, and she came up north to hide. That's my guess. Yeah, I mean, think. Look at it this way: everyone in the ten towns looks a little rough. Yeah. The the weather I mean, has not been kind to them. Oh, so this is like. I, Sarge feels no way for or against this woman, but uh, Trey will kill and or die for this woman. <laughs> That's just off her character design alone. I will. The whole rules. Yeah. The mom. Vivi loves, loves her because she shared her shitty pot with her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she has no concept of what's good. Yeah, this lady is cool. Uh, I'm drinking. I'm telling you my bucket. She goes, oh yeah, just uh, head upstairs. You know what? In fact, uh, I think Nayerth told me to, if I recall, to go ahead and send any newcomers up to his... He likes to meet people when they arrive in town. Okay. Get ready for a car salesman. All right. Um, you all head up, and she goes, go ahead and grab the room to the right of that. Uh, but his door, his room is the first one as you head up the stairs. Guys, 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 guys. Let's not talk to that guy first. Let's not talk to that guy first. We'll probably... Send us somewhere back. Let's go to the room. Spy on him. That's a great idea. I've got an hour timer. What? I couldn't hear you, Brian. What would you say? I have an hour timer. Oh, for comprehend language. Comprehend language only lasts an hour. Well, let's see. Let's let's listen. We I don't think we should go up there and say, "Hey, here we are," and we might have to kick your ass later. Let's go into the room and see what they're maybe talking about or doing in there, and then maybe we'll have like a edge on them or something. Right. We, we can try and spy on them, sure. Okay. Uh, how are you... We'll listen like, through the walls. <laughs> how, how are you intending on doing this? <laughs> oh, so... Oh. Justin, how do, you, how, do, how do you want to spy on them? With my ears. I'll put my ears against the wall. Just be quiet. Let's go in. I don't know. I don't have... Uh, I could detect stuff if we're hanging out. Oh, so are you saying like you go into your room next door to the, his room and try and listen through the wall? There, yeah, if they're talking, if there's anything, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and roll perception. Can I do this yeah, as well? Yeah, I would like, like to. Plus... Can we all, are we all just like going to put our ears up? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, my investigation yeah. is higher. Never mind. Um, I'm, I'm uh, just setting my violin myself. on a bed, claiming a bed. Oh, uh, 25 with some guidance. Damn. Okay. Uh, there's no insulation in these walls. It's a for as nice of an innkeeper as Ma is, her inn is pretty shitty uh, quality. <laughs> So, yeah, the no insulation. That's great for spying on people. Kind of bad for the weather environment yeah. we're in. That's yeah, you, you also <laughs> notice that this whole building is basically frozen solid. Uh, Feels fine to me. So uh, you hear it through the door, and you hear two men speaking on the other side, and uh, you hear snippets of a conversation that goes something like this, and it goes... Uh, you hear him go, Well, I told you we have to get the prisoner out of that fortress up north, but without our forces, we can't make any sudden moves. We have to take this quietly and do things the right way. And you hear another voice go, I hear what you're saying. I'm just... I'm trying to do my part with this town. We're keeping order the way you asked. Now, if you want to expand our operations, that's going to take a little bit more time. I don't have the resources right now. Um, and he goes, all right. In response to that, you hear the first voice say, I understand. 
your predicament, I will go ahead and send out for additional resources. Maybe let's go talk to him and then just like see who it's who. Maybe we have an idea. It's like somebody's working for somebody else, man. Right? The guy who's in charge of the town that is sending people off to die in the lake, he is answering to the other voice. We don't yep. know who the other voice is. Now, if we go or, in there and there's no one there, that means that he is magically talking to somebody using some kind of magical telephone thing. I'm going to uh, detect an evil and good. Have we. Is this the same day that we were like at the shack with the giant? It was a few hours away, yeah. Yeah, um, but it's isn't getting to be nighttime, spell? but it is the same day. Okay. It's getting to be around eight o'clock at night, which in in the ten towns is pitch black dark outside. Yeah, we're probably not gonna like. I don't know. I only have two spell slots left, and I want to. I'll use one for detecting on good. Maybe if we're gonna, you know, go to bed. Okay. Long rest, right. Um. But I'll just detect evil and good. Is there, what is it, like, anything from that room? Uh, can you, can you tell me the specifics of that spell? I, for the duration, which is ten minutes, I know if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within thirty feet of me. As well as where is the creature, as well as where the creature is located. Hmm. I also know if a, oh, and it penetrates most barriers, blocked by a foot of stone, an inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. But you already said these wall, yeah. walls are full of nothing. Um, with that spell, you you don't detect any of those elements or entities. That rules out a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> Unless, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's not getting, like, scrambled or not. You know what I mean? Like a like if they have some kind of anti divination or something, I wouldn't know. Yep. Are you guys going to attempt to greet him? No, we're done spying. Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, who's knocking on the door? Not that. I will. Okay. Okay. Cool. You uh, knock on the door and you hear. Uh, a, a, like a voice on the interior. Shh, shh. Okay. Hold, hold it. There's someone. Hold and you see the door open. You see the door open. And you hear a voice. Hey. Please come in. Um, Do I see who opens the door? The door just kind of. You see a person. Hold on, real quick. That's new. Ooh. You see. As you enter into the uh, room, this is the kind of scene that you're greeted with. Is he going in there by himself? <clears throat> the door does not magically open, but you see Nairth, the humanoid, uh, the human person, run back. Uh, well, not run back. He just walks back quickly, and you see him feeding uh, a mouse to his snakes, his flying snakes. And he goes... Ah, uh, it's always nice seeing new faces in town. Yeah, uh, what brings you to our village, uh, travelers? Who's talking to us? The tiefling? The, uh, the man. Nareth. Okay. The human. Uh, Nareth, I presume. That would be me. Uh, I'm glad to see my reputation in... precedes me. We are in town for multitude of reasons. They're bounty hunters looking for somebody. I am here on a story. Bounty hunters. In every in everyone's head, you hear my voice. It's except him. You hear me say, "Don't mention, please." Don't mention our quarry. We don't know his connection to that person that we're hunting. We don't want to give away our herring. By the way, I have telepathy. I don't know if I told you this yet. Don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> we all just like nod. 
<laughs> He's got to notice that a bunch of people are like, "What? What's going on in my head?" I'm listening. 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 I'm, I'm, smi I'm just smiling and nodding while I say while I say this uh, telepathically. You get the idea that Nival is used to people talking in his head. I will put put my hand put my hand on um damn Noval's uh Noval's shoulder. Uh, like yeah, bounty hunters. We're looking for a giant. And you saw there's been a giant around here recently. I I hope you find your quarry. Yeah, it's uh, pretty elusive, pretty dangerous. We're uh, but yeah, they, they they told us to um to come see you that you like to greet new people and that's what we're a group of, so I just like to make sure that everyone in my town is very comfortable and Can I just say welcome. you're as handsome as Ma said you were. Well <laughs> and he he flashes a smile and it's very charming. And he goes oh, no. he goes Well I like to see uh make sure that everyone in my town visiting is very comfortable. Very comfortable. Where are what would we do if we wanted to get Really comfortable. Uh, are you? He he goes. I'm sure you have. You can have a room here. Uh, we're actually. I mean, you know, comfortable. Oh, all what? All five of you? Yes. And he he looks he looks over at the uh, tiefling, and the tiefling kind of looks at him and just kind of shrugs, and he's like, I mean, maybe we could. No, 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 no. That would not be good for my reputation. No. And, and okay, you see the tiefling nod, like, yeah, that's true. Okay. I start looking at the dwarf like, I don't understand what he's implying. I don't get I it. don't understand what he's special. implying either. I don't know. I'm just seeing. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe there's some other thing. Maybe there's like, I don't know. No, I mean like, like you're asking for a prostitute. Yeah, <laughs> keep saying comfortable. I, I think he's secretly talking about getting rid of people, and maybe if I talk to him in a secret code about something nefarious, he'd be like, "Hey, uh, we actually do this other thing. If you guys are evil, which we're not, we pretend to be evil, we can do the thing." He goes, but does, do it? Oh, he, he leans in. He leans in and goes, "Hey, are you guys evil?" <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna find <laughs> only if you are. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you're in good company. We're evil as fuck. <laughs> evil as fuck. <laughs> yo, you, you, yo, you bros chaotic. It's eating a mouse uh, How chaotic you guys? He goes, Is that uh, he goes, well, my enforcer here, Mr. And, and the guy goes, uh, Scaff. He goes, right, 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 Captain Scaff. <clears throat> yeah, they are snakes, Ellie. He's feeding a mouse to flying snakes, which don't exist. Sort of. They sort of do, but don't don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah scary. Um, and uh, I'll say to everyone in their minds, well, clearly that is the boss, but he doesn't want us to know that he's the boss. It's just a... Uh, Let's try and try and talk him up as well. Let's try and get on his good side as well. And also, I'm someone bring up this. I'm going to ask uh, about the flying snakes. They don't look like they handle cold weather very well. <laughs> oh my gosh! Talking to the dog or the? I'm talking to. The... I think he was talking to Ellie. Ellie, yeah. Um, they go. You see, uh. Outside of a window, you hear this tapping, and on the exterior of this window is a flying snake lands on the sill and begins tapping, and he goes, Oh, uh, excuse me, for one moment, let me get this, and he opens the window. Snow comes pouring in, but he takes the snake from the window sill, and around the snake's belly is a small note, and he unravels it, and he reads it, and he goes, He goes, Ah, okay. This is this is good. This is good. Uh, excuse. Me. I, it's been wonderful talking to you all tonight, but I am going to need um to divert my attention elsewhere. Please. Sure, uh, sure. But, 
up before we Wait. go. Care to comment on the monster in the lake? And also, how is your snakes able to survive out here? Yeah, the monster in the lake part. I mean, we heard a lot of stuff from people being sent out there. We were trying to see if there's anything that we could do to quell that situation. Oh, well, I'm just writing a story on it. It sounds interesting. Yeah, according to the priest, um, the the sacrifices must occur to Oral, and we found that sending people out in the boats, they tend to not come back. And according to the priest, that is our sacrifice. Now, for me, I don't really believe in it either way, but it seems to keep everyone happy and keeps them believing that it keeps them in control to some degree. Sure, I bet it does. Where, who's, uh, who's your priest? Oh, he's... Uh, Grinsk... Uh, did it, did it, did it, did it... Let me see what his name is. Um, yeah, Grinsk. Oh, his name's Grinsk. Grinsk Barrelbore. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a priest, too. I was thinking that maybe we could uh, compare notes and, uh, you know, work. Uh, maybe we could figure out something that does involve or does not involve uh, human sacrifice. Oops. You know where he's at? I, I fucking hate talking to him. Yeah, you go you go nuts. He's down. He's always down by the docks. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's, he's okay. a real pain in my ass. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I, I just wasn't expecting that response. <laughs> that kind of bro was like, fuck yeah, I hate talking to him, do it. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. He's he's a he's a dick. <laughs> okay. But it keeps keeps him out of my hair, giving him the, the fisherman. And, you know, I'll toss the fisherman a, a coin now and then, and it keeps them happy, but... Uh, this whole monster on the lake business is, well, it's bad for business, really. Do so, you know what the monster is? I, I would not go. No, I've never gone out on the lake. That's what that's what poor people do. Have you heard of any descriptions of it? I have not. Hey, uh, no one's no. come back. No one's come back alive to tell the tales. Uh, Nareth said he was busy. You know, maybe uh, you know we're we're and we don't want to uh, overextend our welcome here. Maybe we should go talk to the priest. He's down the docks anyway. Yes, that sounds great. Let's go. Yeah, he pockets the he, note. He does um, not like this guy, and she doesn't want to like fuck any of her new friends over who she loves so much. Yeah. Uh, so she's trying to get the hell out of here. Okay, he pockets the note, um, and you you see him kind of walk over to his enforcer. Uh, and whisper to him a little bit. Uh, roll, roll perception. If you want to hear, it's going to be pretty high. Ooh. Fifteen. Uh, uh, Non-natural twenty. Uh, you see them whispering to each other, and they point. They they pointedly glance over it to you during this whispering and kind of take a look back at this little note in his hand and, and then they look it to you again. It's not good. Oh. Well, we can get that note. Yeah, we should just go. Fuck. Wait. Ellie, wait. Okay. And, um, you, yeah, he, he walks you to the door. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, please. Does he have uh-huh. on him? Say that again. Does he have the Does he have the note on, on him? The note on him uh, that he's holding? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's holding a note yeah. in his hand. Are you you... Oh, could I steal it? Would it be possible to be hard? To, like, he's holding it in his hand. You'd have to do something to switch it. To... <laughs> yeah, we have a... Okay. Uh, Better off you get a message. Yeah. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to, I got to take care of a, a, a crying baby real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay.
thing. And then have somebody else um, say that. Like, um. Alright, so he's holding the paper in his hand. You're about to walk out. What do you do? I have my familiar. Telepathically, I tell him to... I, I just command my familiar to bump into the snake nest and knock it over and then I'll just like okay grab, and I'm just trying to play it off as an accident yeah it goes like, and you hear the snakes go, the snakes go start, start, start. I oh start moving goodness. around like a bunch oh just, no oh no oh no oh my god goes, oh oh, oh. Jimmy, Anita what's your sleight of hand he goes, uh plus five okay damn he goes Jiminy and Cricket oh no my Jiminy <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck they have cute names <laughs> um, he runs over, uh, what, and he's, he, he stuffs the note in, he leaves a note on, uh, the table next to the cage while he's trying to gather up his snakes. I, like, I'm rush grabbing over my orb. and make it difficult and, like, kind of overly insert myself trying to help and ultimately just, like, not being helpful and just, like, in the way. Oh, yeah, like, when people, like, carrying books bump into each other and then they both start trying to pick up the paper, but it really makes things even more awkward. Yeah, yeah. basically, I'm, like, trying to lift the key, but, like... Okay. Okay. okay, when you're doing that, at w- roll, uh... I'm, so, he, while trying to pick up the snakes... He puts one hand over yours, and he looks up into your eyes and he goes, Oh. I see, uh, I see you want to help. <laughs> Wait, this is me? This is yeah. Am I being su- You're helping gather it- the snakes, right? On the ground? Yeah, well, helping. Quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I'm to... If Hallmark is correct, if Hallmark has taught me anything, dropping books and, like, two people trying to help... Yeah. Okay, but what about dropping books? This is very romantic. Snakes, books. Still romantic. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Are we going to fall in love? It's just a different not made Hallmark movie yet. If both of your hands touch as you're reaching for the same object on the ground, by the rules of Hallmark, you are meant to be. All yeah. right, well. <laughs> love in the pet shop. And he goes, he goes, do you mind if I maybe have a chat with you later? Just you and I? Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, uh... Holy shit, what's this about? You see the uh, the tiefling in the corner rolls his eyes so hard. <laughs> and she says, Ugh. Oh, just just the two of us? Well, Not my friends? We never we never go anywhere alone. I mean We're a pack, we're a team. They're my family. What what if I you know I just I have have a small proposal for you that you know <laughs> this is just so you and bad. me. Okay. Okay. While this is happening, I yes. try to take the body. Okay. Um. Roll sleight of hand. Do I get advantage because y- yeah. he's being so yes. distracted? Very much. Can I give her guidance? Ooh, that's a twenty-one. All right. Uh, you yeah. you write the you step over and you write the 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 snake cage up, and at the same time you slip using like your pinky finger, you slide the note off and and pocket it into a, a fold in your robe. And you go, and he goes, he finally gathers up all the snakes and he, and, and the whole time he goes, wow, what, look at us. Just a, a couple of butter fingers. Thanks a lot, uh- Captain Sketh. You just sat there, you sack of shit. <laughs> and you see the tiefling like shrug again. He goes, "Why the? F- why am I paying you? What?" I'm, I'm, I, I was wrong. This guy kind of rules. I, can I insight check Captain Scath after that remark? Uh, you can just look at his face. He doesn't give a fuck. Okay. Like, oh man, this is okay. Um, I, I, this is suspect. Uh, Mr. Snake Owner Man, whose name I forgot. What's it? Uh, what is it? What's his name? Uh, Nerf. 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 Axel Danar. It, That's his full name. It does okay. not bold. So, this is. Like, 
<laughs> flirting, flirting is also like a new experience for Uvini, and she's like both really flattered and really uncomfortable. Um, and she just like insists, like, oh, oh, I would love to, I would love to see you again, I would love to see you again, but I, but I would bring my family with yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, we, you know, I run a little operation, a little network, and I'd like to maybe add you to my network. How, you know, the, oh, if, if it's your network, us. Maybe. No, well, I mean, talk sure. To you about it. Yeah, I can. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about. I've never known friends, anyone to but... be interested before. Right, no, like, go. 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 Hey guys, we gotta go. They, these guys are very busy, and we gotta go with our thing. Remember, we had to do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that thing? Yeah. Let's go do that thing. Come on, uh, let's go. Very busy. Good night. Um, Goodbye. Have a nice night. So to you, uh, looking at the note, um, you see. You see, you, you unwrap the note, and it's in a, uh, it, it's in a kind of code, but it's not difficult. Um, I, w I won't bother making you, you did enough checks to, to get this note. Um, it reads, uh, prisoner number 252, high, high security, located at uh shit what's that name at uh revel's end extract at all costs uh, prisoner is highly dangerous uh able uh do not allow it to see your face ooh Interesting. Okay. Can you feel it? Some kind of maybe. Hmm. All right. Or, I pocket the note. Shape, or it's a shapeshifter, like to you, maybe. Like, don't let them see your face, or they'll be able to turn into you or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's Rebels, Rebels End. I thought it was something about us, and they kept looking at us. Yeah. I told him what the note says. <laughs> Guess yes. not about us. Hmm. So, where are we at this point? Have we, like, walked out on our way to the priest, or... Um, are it's, we, like, gathering ourselves to the room? It's nighttime. Um, you could probably go to your room oh. and have a long rest. That would give you back your, your health completely. <clears throat> um... Um... And you can see the priest in the morning at the docks. Cool. Nina can't sleep because uh, she's got a she's got a you know a gentleman caller situation. <laughs> You're up all night, just on, on your stomach with your like head in your hands and you're like kicking. I'm <laughs> doodling in my journal. <laughs> I got hearts on my eyes. What's his name again? Ralph? What the fuck? I can't remember his name. Narf? Narf? Yeah, fuck it, like it's Narf. <laughs> uh, okay, there's no eyes in there. Yeah. Um, so, the next morning comes, and you go, if you want to head to the docks, you can. Or you can try and speak with Nair. Uh, he's back down. He's in the... Uh, he's in the lobby of the inn with Ma. And his uh, his buddy. Let's just go talk to the priest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you need to uh, uh, just play hard to get. Let's not be too eager with him. Okay. Is that to the group as a whole? No, just to you. Just to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm excited because it's a new experience, but he's like clearly a bad guy. So I I'm not not gonna you know. Okay. Close. We probably will have to kill that guy. Yes. And well, I've been reading I've been reading up on your situation and the most important thing that my researchers told me is never let a clown nigga try to play you. <laughs> See? If he plays you, then rule number two is fuck his best friends and make them yes men. Now, let's I have Holy I have shit. so many questions. <laughs> um as you guys are heading to the dock, you see that that's, that's from the that's from the scholar little camp. Now, let's go. <laughs> nice. The the ancient scholar. 
Uh, the lake around the creaky docks is frozen. It forces the fishers uh, to pull their wooden rowboats out onto the ice before they can actually get to the water and, and launch. Uh, standing between a pair of boats is a stout humanoid in cold weather clothing. A gray hood hides most of the humanoid's face, but you can make out a wide nose and a long, frosty beard. The stout figure stamps their feet, spots you, and waves you over. Ah, good, you're here! Get to it, ingrates! Those fish ain't gonna catch themselves. This is a fisherman? It's, this is the priest. Oh. He's, uh, he's in priestly robes. I guess we've got uh, someone posing as a priest to be posing. But he's also a... He's, he's like, wearing clothing of a fisherman and vestments of a priest. Like, somewhere right down the middle. Well, uh, You're on mute. I don't think he's on mute. I, I think his microphone I, stopped working. Yeah, I think your microphone yeah, busted. Yeah, you're not on mute, but I can't hear you. Okay. Is that better? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Cool. <sighs> Sorry, that was a, pain, a big pain. I was trying to charge my phone and plug it up to the computer. I think it fucked everything up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is my kind of guy. I'm going to say, what's up? Good morning. How's it going? I'm Sport Salt Shaker. Well, first this thing, is my crew. First thing first, the, the sacrifice last night never showed up. So we're behind yeah. on schedule, and we're needing okay. more fish. Okay. What's your name? My name is Grinsk Barrel Borer. And I own these pair of rowboats here, and Gunwale, uh, oh, uh, yeah, both vessels are seaworthy. Um, you look at one of the, both of these small vessels, uh, one of the boats has what looks like a large bite taken out of it. And he goes, I've been waiting around here for an hour. It, it's, it's been, it, it's just about to turn daylight. Time is spent there in England and yapping. There's a lot of echo going on. I can't understand. Yeah, yeah I can't hear you. Okay, uh... He uh, he tells you, among profanities that he yells, um, he tells you he's offering five copper pieces per trout caught. And he grumbles in Dwarvish about... Is he talking to me? To, to our group? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to get, like... I'm a dwarf, too, so yeah. I'm trying to, you know, get familiar with him, shake his hand real hard and all this stuff, talk to him, and, he, and he's just, like, kind of talking through me. Just about his daily stuff, right? Yeah, he goes. It's not really. What, what are, are you? Uh, are you? Uh, oh, oh. Me? I'm a cleric. I'm a cleric of Buffett. Oh. Uh, this is my. This is my adventuring crew party. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to talk to you, sir, yeah. about a monster out there. Uh there's no monster out there. Okay. What about the giant bite in that boat? Uh, yeah, and what about the people that the confirmed deaths that we know about the people that have confirmed died yeah all that all that's uh that's just that's just rumor there's not nothing out there but okay I'm, 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 I'm telling you I need my fish caught on time we're and not here to catch your fish dude we know there's a monster out there there's the last I, crew were apparently born with pits for eyes. They sailed right into a damn ice flow, and it, and it damaged the the ship. But she's fine. She floats with just the, fine. With, with claw mark, what, what, what's he doing? What's what's he doing with his words? What's, what's this it? guy's not making what's, any what's, sense? What's he doing? I think we should just get a boat, go out there, go fishing. Can I investigate the bite on the boat? Or does anybody have a better investigation than me? Probably one great, of the. I have a great investigation. Maybe you should do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I investigate the boat. The lake, just trying to figure out what monster is out there. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Uh, looking at the boat, it is indeed a large bite. Um, you can see claw marks on the side of the, of the, sh the small uh, fishing vessel. 
and um, you get the feeling that it it definitely uh, caused the last crew to fall into the icy water, drown, and was found by fishers the next day, drifting crewless in the near frozen water. I relay all that to everyone telepathically and just say, we should, uh, we're not going to get anything out of this guy. Let's and, just try and, and he goes, kill the monster. He goes, listen, we, I had a bad day. The, the sacrifice for last night didn't show up. And that just ruins the whole... This is why we have never-ending for winter. You you see, you just said sacrifice. You just said sacrifice. I did not. I did not say that. I looked through my notes as a... The sacrifice didn't show up. You said sacrifice. Mm Mm-hmm. What what are you, a journalist? That's a a two-party system, sir. What are you sacrificing people to? Yes, he is. I'm an investigative journalist trying to figure out why this, and I wave at the air, is this. Because you keep asking questions, you get out on that, you get out on that water, get me some fish. But if you ask any more questions, y- you might end up a victim of the serial killer. Hey, be careful, sir. Yeah. You keep threatening my party. No. Can you tell me more about this serial killer? She's do he's he or she is doing Arl's work. It's good work. So both the serial killer and the monster that is eating people are good things for God that is going to appease the God that is making all winter like never ending winter. And you are using this as a threat for the things you say don't at make sense. You see that, right? You- you can't. You can't tell me how to be worshiping my God. I know what I'm doing. I just it, it's a tangled system of dream logic that you have with your beliefs. They don't. They don't make. I, how long I, have you been sacrificing people, and how often? Oh, we do it once a week. And uh, for how long? It's been about two years. And has anything changed? We just haven't been doing it hard enough. That's all. You know, the monster, or the the lake is hungry. Oh, okay. And we need to keep it fed, or else it'll come and it'll destroy us, and there'll be never-ending winter. I'm offering you to take one of my boats, go out there, catch some fish. Bring it back. I'll give you five okay. gold uh, copper pieces per fish. Okay. Okay. Just give us a boat. Where's your What's your biggest boat? Uh, he, he points to one of the. He points to the two rowboats and is like, "Take your pick." Good lord. How about the one without a hole in it? That's not a hole. It's just uh, it's a it's character. Even if you're even, I, even if you're stick, sticking with the lie that it was a iceberg thing and not a claw mark, you, you can still admit that the boat is damaged. That's not a what. I don't what, see nothing. You, I don't see nothing wrong. I I'm so he's pissing me off. This guy's pissing me <laughs> sorry, off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're trying to talk sense into a man. It's, it's not gonna work. It's not uh, gonna this work. This fake news shit is pissing me off. Let's go. <laughs> you have said my friends and I'm not happy now well, hey, hey, thank you all I just need to uh, I, I, I just sit in the boat and just <laughs> just like start rubbing my temples it's just, just not making sense man it's just <laughs> all right. Jesus. All right. I guess let's all get in this boat and go fight a monster we're um, all gonna drown as you approach the boat uh, you hear footsteps approaching you. Another figure... <sighs> this guy doesn't really need to be added, but it's part of the story, so I'm going to add him. Um, uh, cool intro. Yeah, uh, another... Uh, you see uh, an elven figure uh, with gloved hands uh, run over, and he goes, Oh, you have no honor, Bearer Boar. You're sending these innocent people to their deaths, and for what, a few fish? And then uh, Grinch says, 
Ah, uh, shit, it's you. Uh, pay no mind to this rambling fool. Go out on the lake and, and get yourself the, uh, get yourself, get yourself some fish for me. And then the, uh, half-elf retorts, did you tell them about the monster? And he goes, ain't no monster, get to work. And then, uh, Grinsk stalks oh, away. Oh, finally, a same person. Um, monster. <laughs> after Grinsk leaves the area, he, uh, the, af the half-elf approaches you all, uh, kind of sheepishly, and he goes, uh, 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 I'm very sorry about this. Uh, I'm getting the feeling Grinz doesn't like me very much, or anyone who steps between him and uh, this lake, Logic? I suppose. Yes. Logic and reason? <laughs> yes. He, uh, I would just say he's he's not a very nice person. Uh, my name's Tally. I'm studying the local animal life here in Icewind Dale, and I just couldn't stay silent and watch another crew fall victim to the monster of Dale mayor dwelled on um that there is a monster out there and and if you are going out on the lake i i i really have a request of you all first off you're very brave heroes i appreciate it um the monster's yeah. only recently become a threat i i believe that it's actually a natural phenomenon it's not really a an evil creature it's just Perhaps this unending winter has affected its eating habits or, or demeanor in some way. It, it, this has only recently begun, and whatever it was out there, perhaps beforehand it was never really evil. Um, he hands you all a notebook, and he says, I can't offer you much more than my gratitude, but if you're going out on the lake, please write down any information you learn about the nature of this creature. Uh, if we know what's out there, the people of Targos would be much safer for it, and, and honestly... Their fear is just driven from the unknown. It's they're not all bad people. Grinsk is a dick. He's he's a bad person, but everyone else is probably going to be okay. Um, okay. So yeah, he hands you a notebook, and if you spot the creature, then you can uh, write take notes. And I guess the note taker would naturally note be uh, Nuval. Yes. Okay, since since you're probably taking notes anyhow. I'm also going to ask Tally, do you have any descriptions that you've gotten from anybody yet? Or mm. has it just been no survivors or nobody pays attention? Or they're all drunk? Well, so, so far there's simply been no... Sur people who have seen it simply do not um, typically survive. There's been some drunken tales at the local tavern about this creature having a snake-like head. But, um... One head? That's good. So, um... If you all take a rowboat out, there's, uh, three sets of fishing tackle stashed in the center of each boat. Um... <sighs> I'm not fucking fishing. Uh, it's an option. Oh. <laughs> oh. He just he has to so much. Uvi has, like, a lot of distrust for, like, organized religion and, like, hypocrisy related to Arl, so she's she doesn't want to participate either. I would love to support you all, I would love to support you all, but this does not work for me, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> that, was, that was a I look to the boat and see if there's any nets um yeah you see nets in the boat uh uh there's three nets um three fishing tackle uh two oars and each rowboat has uh well the undamaged rowboat has 50 hit points the damaged one has 36 do we have do we all fit in one or do we have to take both Mm. If we have to take both, I'll go into the damaged one since I have no problem with the code or the water. Yeah, you can fit up to two medium-sized humanoids and one small humanoid in each boat. Oh, crap. Who wants to join me in the bitten boat? Really 
great on the water. Okay. Um. Uh, I'll jump in your boat. The bitten boat. I'm I'm teeny, so I can jump in as well. Um, if there are no other volunteers. Oh yeah, you are halfling. Okay. Yeah. Then. Well, then you can go in the non-bitten boat and have a. Uh, Be safer. With, uh, with Thoris and uh, T. Um. So as you launch these boats out into the water, um, the lake is covered in ice flows, um, making the travel danger dangerous. Go ahead. Who's going to be steering each boat? I have a sea vehicle proficiency, so I can steer one. Nice. Okay. Who's the other? Who's, uh, who's steering the damage me, boat? Out of me? Uh, uh, Vinny and Brian's character, whose name I can't remember. Who, which one was? No, 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 no. Novel. Think novel. novel the book, but novel. drop the E a little lower. Novel. Novel. I, I can actually remember that then. Novel. Yeah. All right, uh, which one of us do you think is better at, uh, well, who has the better survival? Oh, I moved to the other boat, my bad. Okay. All right, out of me and Novel, which one of us? Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I don't know what we would add. <laughs> survival or something, or Dex, or? Here's your boats. Yeah, it's a survival thing, probably. Uh, okay, um... To you, Sarge, Nuval, uh, Thorf, and Uvini. Is that is that the right boat order? Uh, uh I think Vinny uh, is over with uh, Thorf and Tuvia and Sarge. I'm in the non damage boat. Yeah, switch me, switch but, me, and. Uh, it's team blue with yeah that works right. oh, yeah. yeah oh all the blue people get regulated to another boat i see how it is okay, okay. uh well actually uh sarge all you... the blue people in, a, in one boat just so you all get to be seen with it okay i got no, it sarge look if you want that boat is damaged i'll drive that one I'm, i've piloted boats before he knew the word gift earlier so you know all right. All right. Yeah. The, no, this is this, this is fine. This, this, okay. This is fine and good. All right. This is fine and good. As you set off, as you set off into the darkness, you've got a single lamp at the head of each boat. Um, you you set off in the lake is dark even during the day. Um, you can vaguely see the shapes of ice flows drifting past you. Um. Go ahead and roll. Whoever is navigating the boat, please roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I didn't know it was wisdom. I suck with wisdom. Well, I got. A, so do I. Oh wow, I I'm good at wisdom. Plus. I got a plus I wisdom saving throw. I'll do it. I just. I'm already uh, proficient because I'm proficient in wisdom saves. So I don't know if my proficiency in the thing that I'm doing. Like you can't I can't stack proficiency, right? So just a regular roll. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's not a good face. <laughs> it's a great face. <laughs> Would you roll? I got an eight. You got an eight? I got an eight too. Yeah, I got an eight, eight too. <laughs> okay. Seven plus one, I got an eight. Yeah. High five, Justin. Justin, as you're, uh, you've got a stick and you're holding it out. Uh, you've got a ten foot pole and you're holding it out to kind of shift ice away from the, uh, away from your path. As you are pushing one piece of ice, another piece of ice flows from behind it, shoving it suddenly towards you. It snaps your ten foot pole and hits your boat, your boat's going to take six damage. 
Um, your, your boat is currently at 44 HP. And then this, a similar thing happens to, to the damaged boat behind you, and it takes 5 damage from an ice flow that suddenly shifts. Um, you've been out on the water for almost an hour now, and these two pieces of ice are going to hit. Uh, so, let's see. This one has... 44 HP and this one has 31 now whoops that's my bad um whoopsie doodle so these uh boats travel at a speed of one and a half miles per hour so every hour you go out onto the lake further and further um I'm gonna roll a d20 to see what happens per hour and the longer you stay out there, the more likely you are to run into the lake monster, essentially. So we more or less got there in that hour. What's that? So we more or less got, I'm blue on a blue background. That doesn't work at all. We got about there in an hour. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did I roll 20? Hell yeah. All right. So, another oh hour God. passes. It is now around 10 in the morning out on the lake. Uh, you've been out here for two hours. And... Did we be know. fishing while we're doing this? What's that? I turned to stars and said, should we be fishing while we're doing this? You're welcome to fish if you like. I uncharacteristically Sarge looks at you and she goes, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> I think Thorf and Uvini also were like, I'm not going to fish for this guy either. Yeah. So, yeah. He's uh, offering us copper? Fuck that. Cool. cool. So, as you all are out on the fish, refusing to fish, um, just sitting in the boat, kind of keeping an eye out, you suddenly feel the water beneath you slither. Something slithers between the two boats. Um, you feel a sudden uh, current pick up and ice around you shifts. And you see a dark figure shadow pass underneath the boats. Um, we should be careful. Yeah, there's ripples from the surface of the lake, and it, your boat starts to bob from side to side, and a large mass glides through the dark water below you. About 30 feet away, I send my familiar to, like, I just have it, like, fly 30 feet away and start casting through him uh, a yeah. firebolt on the water. Or, uh, no, uh, thunderclap. So just, like, pockets of just, like, explosions. Uh, just, like, force thunder explosions are happening, like, 30 feet away. To just um, make noise 30 feet away. To try and, like, distract it. To try and, like, if it's gonna, like, shoot up, I just want it to be, like, away from us. When you do that, uh, you see the the creature suddenly it looks like it goes downward and it just disappears into the darkness could uh, I have sketched the shadow in the notebook before it got away roll an intelligence check okay a nature check sorry nature yeah uh, that is an 18. Okay. Um, in your travels, you've heard descriptions of a creature, uh, almost a Paleolithic creature, and you know it to be, it, it's typically referred to as a Plesiosaurus. <laughs> mm. So you know this to be a, a creature of, um, Origin. I think we're hunting a, 
dinosaur. Scary. Uh, oh. Buffett bless us. And I'm gonna, uh, I guess, uh, bless Sarge and uh, to you and um, no. And you add uh, d fours to attack rolls or saving throws uh, for up to a minute, as long as I'm concentrating on. Just like whatever his symbol is, I don't know. As you, I guess it's just this. Yeah. Um, there, the plesiosaur does not return in since it dived down. Um, you can continue to attempt to look for the plesiosaur out on the lake. Well, fuck. That was a waste. Yeah. I mean, could we... Yeah, I guess keep looking. You hear... Um, now we'll start playing the violin because I ritually cast Speak with Animals over and over again. Okay. Um, go ahead, navigators, roll wisdom saving throws. With pleasant music as your background. Well, can we use uh, can we use bless? Yeah. Okay. I'm not doing too well this game, guys. <laughs> my three. Natural one. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Uh, another ice. Flow slides up out of the water. Suddenly, uh, a, a glacier cracks in the distance, and a wave of water kind of pushes some ice flow towards you. Uh, Thwarf, you are managing to somehow, using the oars, you you keep the ship, the boat, from being um, pressed in between two uh, blocks of ice as they slide past. Um, unfortunately, Sarge you attempt to do the same but the ice flow continues to crush inward and your boat takes four damage your your vessel okay uh it's at 20 uh, novel novel maybe uh may, maybe we should switch duties maybe you uh <laughs> may, maybe you should navigate um okay uh, I'm lost in the music right now <laughs> the uh, uh, the hour passes. It's now eleven. Uh, it's now yeah. It's eleven a.m. in the morning, and uh, the hour passes uneventfully. If you want to continue, we can we can keep going. Fifteen. Okay. Um. You see, uh, oh, this kind of sucks. One, two, three, four. Who's four? <laughs> oh man, Sarge, uh, you're looking over the uh, side of the ship into the water when suddenly. Because another... why? Because why wouldn't I be? Yeah. <laughs> because of course I would be. Let's do this. You're gonna make. I don't a... think it's coming back. You, uh, a knucklehead trout suddenly leaps out of the lake and makes a tail attack against you. Um, as it <laughs> falls back into the water, make a, a passive perception a perception roll. How do you make a passive perception roll? I don't know. P passive wisdom perception roll. I think you mean perception roll. Yeah, yeah. Is your per passive perception thirteen or higher? No. Okay, it hits what you about in the face. Uh, you're gonna take one d4. Look out, fish! You take four that, damage. How much? Four. Why? Yeah, sure. That. Why wouldn't that happen? The hour otherwise passes uneventfully. It's now twelve p.m. Sorry, what did you it's now lunchtime. Um. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. An hour passes again. This time you see. 
you see the ripples again. The plesiosaur breaches the water, and you see its fins uh, suddenly raise up out of the water and smack uh, the water near the the um, your boats. Can I yell out since I've been richly casting Speak with Animals every ten minutes? Hey. Hey there, buddy. Why are you attacking people? You you call out to it? Yes, I call out to the plesiosaurus. Uh you see the plesiosaur as it as it breaches the water, it pauses for a minute and then goes back under. And you see it kind of glide underwater towards you. And suddenly a I'm gonna show you this image. Oh boy. It it it, it pops its head up all of a sudden. It goes Boosh! next to the boat and and you see this scene right here because this is a real fun image i'm just going to show it to you um but it 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 pops its head up looking at you i'm not i don't see anything in real time oh 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 Oh, jeez oh jeez and it looks at you and goes i'm listening Why are you attacking boats? There's lots of knucklehead trout. Uh, interestingly enough, everyone else can also hear it. Um, it goes... You're asking why it's attacking boats? Yes. Okay. It goes... Well, there was... A time when I was just an animal and I used to swim around the lake and eat fish. But some human gave me a gift and now it said I must do my part to help the Frost Maiden. And it wants the people of Targos to suffer. I don't want to become a stupid beast again. Hmm. Who was this person? Ravison. If we stop this person, could we go back to you being not killing people, but still have intelligence? Why would I do that? Why do you want to kill people? Because it's the only way that I stay smart. What if we were to... Are you eating their brains or something? I was given intelligence to kill people. If I don't kill people, I won't stay smart. So, sorry, wait a second. We, Rob, you did say that we can understand, right? Yeah. Okay, but we can't, we can't communicate back. It's, it's speaking in perfectly normal common. It, it's speaking, it's speaking English. Uh, presumably, any of us could talk to it. Yeah, try talking to it. Yeah. I forgot what I was trying to say. Damn. Oh, what if <laughs> what if we were to speak to Ravison? What if we were to help you keep your intelligence without being bound to this man or woman, person, individual, unclear gender? Isn't Ravison the priest? Ravison is a priest in Lonely Wood. She gave animals intelligence. Like the moose! To do the bidding of the Frost Maiden. You can be intelligent without doing someone's bidding, though. We'll find a way. Roll persuasion. Me? Yep. Hold up. I want to cast guidance. I just put my hand on your shoulder and say, "Yeah," and then you add a D four. Okay. Add a D four. Yeah. Uh, and I aid by saying that these guys are trying to stop serial killers, so I think they can stop 
a crazed priestess. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, that only gets me to a nine. Uh, oh. he, he goes... He gazes at you intently and says, You know, you bring up a good point, but unfortunately, I've got a job to do. And he, the plesiosaur, dives underwater. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to go ahead and everyone roll initiative. He's going to attack the boat. I got a 16. So we need to go back to Lonelywood and find this druid casting Awaken. 16. Okay. Um, 17. I got a 12. Okay, so... Uh, 16, 16, 12, wait, what did, what did everyone get? I'm sorry. Sarge, what did you get? 16. 16? I did too. Okay, 16, 16, 12. Uh, what did you get, Nuval? Uh, 17. And what about, uh, you, to you? I got an 8. <laughs> Um, the plesiosaur, uh, rams the boats underneath you. Uh, it deals 12 damage to the, uh, f larger boat, the one that hasn't been damaged. Um, hitting it, and it begins a, an attack on your two vessels. So... I think I'm going to pause it here for today, and we'll pick up with a fight next time. And if you guys complete this quest, you will all go to level three. Do you mean kill this beast? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, wouldn't it be nice if we could escape the beast and then find the priestess and free him ah. of his curse? I was hoping we could have a friend on the ocean or on the lake. Escaping the plesiosaur in these boats with all this ice is going to be very hard. Yeah. If we had v better me. boats, I can I can say, if we had better boats, I think that would be possible. But these sh shitty things, I don't. <laughs> and the wind. Yeah. Guys, probably faster than this one. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to die next year. It attacks uh, the plesiosaur. Rams a, uh, the boat from beneath. The boat takes three d six plus four damage. Oh. It takes 16 damage. Jeez. Uh, so this boat is now at 38. I suck at riding. Okay. Um, 3d6 plus 4? Yeah, 3d6 plus 4 when it rams. Any character? Oh. And 16. You did 6, dude. That's 12 damage. Oh. 8. Yeah, you're right. My bad. I was reading the wrong one. Uh... 12 damage. 44 minus 12 is 32? Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Damn. Yeah. Everyone on this boat will uh, falls prone. Um, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> DC 12 dexterity saving throw. I got 25. Okay, you you managed to, even though the boat is rocking, you managed to hold your footing. Um, I think everyone's probably going to save on this. I got a 19. Yeah. Uh, Minus one. <laughs> a character... Basically, if you fail this check, um, some bad shit happens. So that's what happens. Uh, and then we'll start... Um, we'll start this battle next session.
Hell yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, guys. Good. Sorry, cool. this one was Level. mostly RP heavy, but... Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good time. Did yeah. we you. meet Ravison in Lonelywood, or did we just talk? No, we didn't, because I haven't written that name down yet. No. Ravison... Ravison, you did go to her location. Uh, yeah. But after the Awakened Moose, you guys did not yeah. fully explore that area. Yeah. That's what we did. Next time. There was one door you guys well, didn't we open. Yeah. I thought we couldn't explore all the doors because they were locked. Some were lo locked. One, one was locked. Um, there is a way to open it. Involving uh -huh. some of the some of the stuff on that location. A clue. Well, when we get back. All right. All right. See you next week. See you later. See you guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for letting me join in on this. I won't have any more weddings or people I know being hospitalized in the future. Really <laughs> fast. No worries. Awesome. No pressure. No, no. It's all good. Thanks for playing, dude. Make yeah. All right. See you guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.